Hello everyone and welcome to this fourth and final uh, tutorial about Plexus interface. We've talked about the soil structure and the mesh generation. Uh, now we're going to talk about the flow condition and the stage uh, construction. After this tutorial, I'll be making exercises about Plexus 3D. So before I start with the flow condition, there's something I like to add in the structure. So there's this uh, uh, this surface here. Create a surface a ground uh, ground flow. When we create this one, it's a surface ground flow. We can make the behavior a seepage or closed or head inflow outflow or infiltrate or infiltration. What the first if we put seepage, this means this surface lets water pass it through it and if we put closed it doesn't allow water to pass through the surface had we define the level of the water and we can put the inflow and, and outflow and infiltration of the water we will not use it now we'll talk about the flow condition in the flow condition we can make the the water level we can put the water level by points as we can draw in the structure you can put it by points here by adding the coordinates so for now i'm not gonna draw, uh, draw anything and now we're in the construction in the, constru in the construction phase it's very important to know what kind of const uh, construction we have so first of all there's the initial phase and there's the phases that we can add it's uh, it's very uh, good and plex that we can make stage constru uh, construction. So let's start by the initial phase. In the initial phase, the calculation type is two. It's or gra gravity load or K zero rho studule. For the K zero, it defines stress for horizontal planes, which can be uh, uh, cannot be always true so that's why we uh, we should use gravity load it's better than k0 and for the loading type it's staged construction here there's phreatic level and steady state groundwater flow so it, uh, so for this uh, this here we can generate the the pressure from the water from the phreatic level or we can put a flow of water that means water must flow from a place to another. It depends on the type of the calculation. For example, for dams, we should use uh, groundwater flow. So after defining the initial phase, we should define the second one. For the second phase, we have plastic consolidation and safety. For the plastic calculation, it does an elastoplastic Drained or undrained analysis, consideration, uh, consolidation not considered. It's a uh, normal plastic analysis. There's consolida uh, consolidation analysis and there's safety analysis, where we see how much uh, the soil can take uh, to the failure. It it takes the soil push, pushes it for the failure uh, stage, and see where we are in the safety phase. So uh, we usually use plastic and for the pore pressure it's all phreatic or we can use the pore, uh, the pressure generated from the previous phase or steady state groundwater flow. So this is for the construction phases. Now for the initial phase, as we can see, uh, this volume is not turned on. For phase one, I can turn on this volume here. So I say I should choose a uh, point to draw the curve. Okay, the, here it said that the mesh is not generated. I should generate a mesh before. I come back to the stage construct uh, construction.
and define a point. I will define this one. Update. Now I can calculate the, the phases of my construction. This may take a little bit of time. Here we can see the deformed mesh, the stress created on the soil. Uh, the total displacement so this is it for the plexus interface I hope that you liked the video if you can please subscribe to my youtube channel and thanks for watching everyone